installation. We're delighted to have in the studio four fine jazz musicians, the Maria Kvist Jazz Quartet East, right? Yeah. Uh, that's the lineup here. We have Jack, Linus, Ricard, and Maria Kvist. Uh, welcome to the program. Uh, thank you for having me here. Yes, here. Uh, and I'd like to begin by asking you, um, how did you get started in, in the world of jazz? You were growing up in Sweden. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then what happened? Well, I was brought up in a very, very small uh, village in the north of Sweden. And, uh, well, I did play some classical music and sing with my father and stuff. Um, so I wasn't until, let's say, 19 until uh, I had the teacher who introduced Oscar Peterson for me. Mm. <laughs> I said, well, I'll check this out. And I did. <laughs> now, it's a very rare thing. You, you're a bit of a triple threat, in a way. You're mm. a, a composer. You're a singer and you're a jazz pianist. Yeah. Um, that's something that's not all that common, especially these days, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, wh what's it like when you uh, when you come into a place and and you're expected to do all of these, wear all of these different hats? How do you manage it? Well, I'm used to it, so so I don't think that much about it. But but uh, um, it's I just try to do my best in every part. Of, of, of its, uh, on this, your second album, yeah. uh, you do all three. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's it like? Is there a difference between singing a song that you've written and singing a song that's a jazz standard or written by someone else? Well, of course, if you have written it by yourself, it's maybe you can relate to it in another way. Uh, but if it's a jazz standard who has a lyric or something you um, you feel for, I mean, I suppose it's the same in one way. But of course, it's it's nice to be able to do your own music. And when you're singing, um, is, it, is it a very different process that you go through in making that music as opposed to playing the piano? Uh, no, not really, because uh, I, I started singing and play at the same age. I was very young. My father almost forced me to, <laughs> to play with him all the time and sing with him all the time. So I've, I've been doing it, but, but it was, took a while for me to accept that I could do both at the same time as a jazz musician. So. Yeah. You've already done a couple of shows here in Hong Kong, yeah. and so for folks who have missed those shows, yeah. how can they find out more about you? Well, now, now we're going to China to uh, one show in Penny Black and one in at Keys, so uh, it's going to be in the next few days. In Shenzhen? Yeah, in Shenzhen. Is there a website, or are, are your, is your music available on iTunes? Yeah, it's on iTunes, uh, Spotify, I don't know if you have it here, and CD on, and I think Amazon, and uh, yeah, and... Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's And uh, what's in the pipeline? What, what exciting new projects are coming Well, uh, I recorded with my Swedish quartet a new album. It's coming out early next year. So I'm excited to, to see how that will be. <laughs> and what can you tell us about the music you're going to do here in the show tonight? Well, it's, a, it's the title of this album, Lemon Man. And it's, a, it's about love, but it's also a strange kind of love when you're, you could be a bit hurt and you shouldn't expect too much of someone who promise you gold. Let's check it out. Yeah. The night was falling, but I got my tan from the blueberry sky. the sun in my face couldn't see all the signs that it wasn't just grace thought I had no reason to obey his demand go if I follow to share
Tschüss.